Hello, everyone. Welcome back. This is Zen. Really excited to be filming this episode for you guys today. Today, I'm filming part two of the video I released earlier on Trump, uh, Kushner, and their connections and family ties to uh, Ripple, cryptocurrency, and and more. So make sure to check out that video. If you like my videos, I do have a goal of hitting 10,000 subscribers this year. So make sure to subscribe, support the channel, and leave some comments and give me a thumbs up that helps this channel grow. So to continue, uh, make sure to check out video number one. So to continue down this uh, rabbit hole, we're gonna start here. So this is one of the first things I found after uh, putting that video out. I was like, dang, I should have put this in the first video. So uh, the president of Estonia discusses women tech with Ivanka Trunk. Ivanka is wearing a bright orange dress and basically what they're talking about is right now our lives are being influenced and transformed by robotics, algorithms, and AI. When talking about women's empowerment, we should act fast be, because we need a new kind of empowerment, uh, the president discussed. Uh, I think I had, but this is, a, this, is, this is pretty big. So Ivanka has discussed tech in Estonia. Okay, so Ivanka tweets, great reconnecting with president of Estonia. Her leadership and innovativeness is truly admirable. Innovativeness, that's saying that Estonia is willing to innovate. What is innovation? Probably blockchain, XRP ledger technology, et cetera. Here's some different photos of Ivanka in her orange dress with the president. We know President Trump's interested in Estonia's digital development. Also, Jared Kushner has met with the president of Estonia. There's a photo of them together. XRP Ledger Foundation is located in Estonia, for those of you that do not, did not notice. Also, their XPOP, the payment system that allows payments to go offline was developed in Estonia. Um, also, the Apex. Apex was located in two, two different places. Uh, Ripple Apex Convention was located in Las Vegas and Estonia. Uh, Sologenic is located in Estonia. I showed you guys Michael Zakowski in the last video being tied to Blackstone. Blackstone's relationship with Kushner, uh, Blackstone's relationship with Putin, Blackstone's relationship with Trump. And Michael Zakowski is working with Sologen Sologenic Foundation, which is based out of where? Estonia. Blackstone guy in 2013. Jared Kushner is also really close with uh, the Saudis. And there was a big, uh, lots of drama that happened. I was actually living here in Vegas when the Route 91 thing happened. Lots of stories about what really went, ha what really was going down at Route 91. And I'm not going to get into it on this, this episode, but I lived it. I heard first world stories, uh, first uh, hand experience of it, and definitely super shady. And we know, uh, we know back in 2018, Saudi Arabia's central bank signed blockchain deal with Ripple. In 2018, that happened. This also is in, this was reported, the wooing of Jared Kushner, how Saudi's got a friend in the White House. That was in 2018. And now you see Ripple doing business with Saudi Arabia's central banks. Trump got the sword dance. He had his hand on, he get royalty treatment when he goes to Saudi Arabia. They love him. Uh, U.S. First Lady uh, Melania Trump enters crypto market, announces NFT venture. So a lot of uh, Republicans think that Trump is totally against crypto and against blockchain. And uh, that's false news. That's FUD to scare you out of making money in cryptocurrency. I mean, how much more obvious can this get? You got his wife making NFTs on Solana. So Melania has already released NFTs. Here's something interesting too. Ivanka Trump's luxury Miami apartment is already accepting cryptos for condos. You could buy a condo from Ivanka Trump with crypto. 
And then you hear this whole narrative that uh, Trump's family is against cryptos. So that's not true. Here's a really important quote. So this is a story about why Ivanka is a ticket to influencing Trump on Bitcoin. I'll read this quote. If she's not invested, um, where, where is it? The trust may have a thing for precious metal gold. That's the only stands to support Ivanka's potential appreciation for digital gold. Donald Trump is a gold bull who has previously said, bringing back the gold standard would be very hard to do, but boy, would it be wonderful. We'd have, boy, would it be wonderful. We'd have a standard on which, which uh, to base our money. XRP, the standard. How much speculation uh, have we seen and how much research have we sh have we seen connecting XRP's ledger's ability to tokenize gold, to make gold more liquid, more transferable, uh, more of a rules base. So that way there's like a measurement of um, units of account. So that way um, people can't be, just to solve so many issues. Uh, that's why Judy Shelton, Trump's pick said, hey, I would love to have a gold standard in a cryptocurrency type kind of way. We're not going to go back to the past. We're going to go back to the future. In 2018, um, you could see, where is this? The United States uh, Army Defense has a bill that is using basically, um, let me exit out this. The defense, the United States defense has a bill that is making them adopt blockchain for their security. The National Defense Authorization Act, uh, National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2018. Uh, so that was when Trump was in office. Um, if you type in Find on the page, blockchain, it's mentioned multiple times. Basically adding blockchain, briefing on cyber applications of blockchain technology. This is US defense. So uh, it looks Russia bankers who met with Jared Kushner, Kushner has ties to Putin. Uh, we got this riddle, you know, some people think the riddles are dumb, but <laughs> we got this riddle way, way, way back um, posted. I don't remember who posted this thing, but uh, it's showing Trump, Putin, and the president of China all with gold and basically Trump holding the XRP as like the end game. So we know that XRP is the end game and uh, the central banks have been loading up historical levels of gold. So they're just buying, buying, buying gold, buying gold. Basel three has been enacted and Basel three, basically it's going to be, it's going to be a collaboration of the old world, the new world coming together, two worlds colliding where it's, you have the, you know, gold is known as God's money. It's been around since the beginning of time. Gold is, always been a store of value. Uh, now mixed in with some new world tech like XRP, it's a match made in heaven. We could bring back the gold standard in a futuristic way. And seeing all these connections and kind of how all this stuff is playing out, we now have a perfect kind of puzzle to now put the pieces together to see how this riddle is actually gonna look like it's gonna play out. Now, um, it's a, it's a deep one. This is a deep rabbit hole, but it all makes sense to me. It all makes sense. Now, whatever you want to believe, you guys can believe, um, whether this is a good agenda, whether this is a bad agenda, I think the research plays out. I think the research plays out that everything that we think is going to happen is, is going to happen in time. Um, is it going to be a bumpy road? Probably. It's probably going to be a bumpy road, but we have all the research. We have the full, we have the full map to understand the end game. So this is just some research I put together. Uh, do with what you want. Have an awesome day. Like I said, I'm on a mission to get 10,000 subscribers. Uh, share my, share my YouTube videos on your social medias. Help me uh, hit my goal this year. 
everybody. Peace.